Good morning everybody, my name is Osa and we are playing Farming Simulator 19 on Brookfield Farm Farming Agency Edition and it's snowing. So I'm going to jump in the cab. We have a load of spelt to take to the store. It's going to take us about four trips, and I can probably do a little bit of time compression. So last I checked, the sheep were all fed, so we're good for today. Might have to feed them tonight. But uh, it is winter. There is nothing to do on our fields. The only thing left on the farm is to sell all our stuff. As you can see, we now have just shy of half a million dollars. Pounds? Pounds. And that is from our canola sales earlier in the winter. Can't remember whether I did that, at least part of that on camera last week. But for right now, we are pretty much emptying our uh, farm silos of all their crops over the next ooh, four months I think we got spelt today, trichale tomorrow, barley probably tomorrow I think potatoes a couple of days after that and sugar beets maybe it's potatoes in January sugar beets midwinter but I've skipped a couple of days just because nothing's happening no money I've lost my challenger that was a mistake although he's still going so let's slow down. There he is. And he's probably stuck behind a uh, a traffic person. Definitely catching up though, so that's good. forgot to do, I forgot to change the description. And crash into a tree, why not? Alright, that's better. Yeah, I crashed into the tree. Oh, good grief. Now this is not going to work at all. out too. We're good. The tractor will get out too. He certainly seems to be working his way through the woods and on the wrong side of the road surprisingly. Oops. Okay, I think pretty much the thing to do here. Oh no. The tractor is still moving. That's good. I was going to say the thing to do here would be get this in and unload and then jump over to the tractor and get it here too, but it seems like it made it. So, good. Ah, uh, dude. Not good. <coughs> and we are over half a million. So, gonna be interesting to see what we can afford at the end of all this. Okay, jump out, jump there. We have to 
turn the helper off, then we can unload. Good. And I, I haven't done any calculations on how much money we can expect from all this harvest. Just under. Really? There we go. And there's enough room for me to get through there too. Of course, not sure the tractor's going to make it round there. Just because. Oh, well, actually, he did. Nice. So, back to the farm, let's go get some more. I'll try not to uh, text and drive on the way back. Don't actually have to do quite so much cab driving, cab driving at this time of year because the trees are bare. all the street signs out telling us to drive carefully so I think we should probably drive like maniacs of course it, telehandler was having big problems with uh, the snow yesterday when I was feeding the sheep. I'm also I'm going to have to take some stuff out to the fields. I think the sheep are getting close to the end of their on hand uh, silage and sugar beets. But hay's going a little bit further. They don't eat quite so much hay. From tomorrow the lower two fields should start running out of grass so we'll be restocking with fresh maize all around and cleaning up the spilled grass not working very well for us and the main re problem there is because there are piles of snow and grass in the feed area when you scoop it up it just turns all into snow okay we are here and I lost the tractor uh, well. driving too fast tractor does 40 get up to here we'll put another load of spelt in and go find the tractor that's the time uh, we're getting on for 11 o'clock there he is just easy for that matter. Um, oh, just before the uh, sawmill. Of course the problem with these trailers is they don't have covers. So we are picking up snow. I think game settings are such that it's not too much of a problem. Because so long as you've got kind of less than 10 litres, it will replace the snow with 
what you're trying to load the truck with. Okay. I did actually mean to bring everything in that way, but with the truck I'd miss the turn. in there too. I think we'll drive the tractor down, have the truck follow us. things I noticed. Farm Sim 22, when you look at your income, okay here it's by day so what would it be? It's late winter, mid-winter, early winter, late fall. Yeah we got 98,000 of that, 50,000 so we're gonna get maybe 170, 180,000 from the, the stuff. But in Farm Sim 22, it's a monthly income statement. So if you're playing three day seasons, you can't see the daily breakdown. All you can see is it's accumulated for the entire month of September or whatever. So, yeah, because of that, you know, I can't see, I can't determine, let's say I did a potato harvest and leased some equipment on day one of September and then day two I lease some equipment to harvest my sugar beets and I can't now see the breakdown in how much did I spend on each I've just got a total because I did it all in September tire tracks from the uh, scorpion This will limit me a bit. Oh, plus heavy load. It's going to take us a while to get up to speed. <laughs> but I think as I intimated last week, this week is mostly going to be selling stuff. I'm looking at our poor little fields all covered in snow. I was actually quite surprised by the snow because I neglected to look up the weather report. Stay left so the truck makes it past. And cut in. There we are. <coughs> so we got an announcement of precision farming around about 19th, I think, of April. So that's one of the things I did want to see for FS22. The only remaining thing is a new map. And, you know, I've played Carmston. I'm finding the fields... The fields are too big for my comfort playing a uh, personal game. I think for streaming, there's going to be more... sort of feelings of is is this making a good series because I'm spending so long doing um, situations but I'm not really seeing any other maps a lot of the other maps are kind of like um, well they're forestry maps and not really looking to spend time doing a huge amount of forestry I'll do some sometimes. And 
also a lot of the agriculture maps are very very basic I mean obviously you've got things like no man's land which is designed to be very very basic build your own farm in a wilderness um, there's some American maps again similar problems big 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 fields so 19,000 there The truck should bring us 31. And turn the dude off. And empty the stuff. So there should be another 31. Not able to locate a thing. And it's probably better for me to just pull all the way through. I am not going to make the turn. I mean, thinking about the start of this map, I think we s we stayed with it until Seasons was out. Before we, we did the move away from Lawfolds. But, uh, I kind of want to move over to 22 a little sooner than next spring. Two cars. Lovely. And lots of traffic coming the other way, so we're kind of stuck with this to the sawmill. Just enough spacing. Maybe the next one. No nope, truck. truck's doing. He's probably behind the second car. Past one. I've still got to drive dead slow. And where is he? There's the car, there's the truck. And here he comes, okay. Let's go. 
So I'm figuring there's a double load, one more double load at least, maybe two. That'll be good. Okay, ease off on the ice. Pretend I'm driving a semi truck. Let's see where I had the uh, truck and tractor parked while it was snowing overnight. We are back. Um, so 200. It's definitely two full loads and possibly a partial. Maybe in the semi truck. Um, a little bit more. There you go. Now the nice thing about Follow Me is you can load equipment while it's um, it's under a worker. But you can't unload while it's under a worker. Which is why every time we get to the store I have to mess around a bit. Is that rain? Yeah, that's rain. Well, that might fix the snow. Temperatures over freezing. Which is basically what we've had for the last three three snowstorms here. It usually rains, washes away the snow, and then we get another six inches of snow the next night. It's uh, be nice to see less snow here. Obviously the main question, are we going to get another ton of it? The main road's kind of clear, so that's good. <laughs> and then towards the end of the day, we'll do a quick check on uh, the sheep food levels. Because there'll be another, probably about this many trips, potentially tomorrow, just on the Triticale, which we should have sold last year. And then, um, also got a small amount of barley that needs sold too. Then I might take a look at... Um, what fields we have and where. I think we're giving up on potatoes for now. I mean, they're lucrative, but giving up on potatoes now. I don't like the little potato harvester. I'm not really that keen on the big one. <coughs> but changing over to just sugar beets instead of sugar beets and potatoes, we can possibly justify a sugar beet harvester. The big one. And sell all our small tractor equipment, which means maybe I don't need a big tractor or another mid-sized tractor. Which is good, I think.
Hopper F is blocked by an object. Yes. I should go find Helper F. Helper F has crashed into a... Uh, other way. Crashed into a signpost. Because why not? Okay. Another 19.7. Should probably check the... Um, sale values. <laughs> That in there and prices, current prices. Um, spelt. Oh, nice. Hilltop stores is now the best place to sell, so we should probably think about that, which means. No more sales with the truck in this setup. But actually, 